Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Meshing in ComSol Multiphysics and we will be uploading several videos in this series and those videos will be helpful for you especially if you are working with a situation where you need multiple kinds of meshing. Multiple kinds of meshing means either you need different size distribution or you need different kinds. Different kinds mean you need triangular mesh, you need quad mesh. So we will be talking about both the things here in this video. So we go to 2D geometry not choosing any physics because our purpose is only meshing. Now let us take in MM just for the sake of taking anything. So we take one circle here and let us keep it one millimeter size and we duplicate two such circles later on we will be changing the dimensions so keep the second circle as 0.5 radius and the third circle say 0.4 so we can distinctly say we have divided this part into three zones you can see the inner core the outer shell and the middle annular section now if you if you are working with a situation where you need a fine mesh in this in the middle annular section so i will give you an example where exactly you may need this kind of fine meshes suppose you are working with electrokinetics and you have to solve for electrical double layer and you know the double layer thickness is very less it might be in the order of nanometer so what you need to do is you need to have a very fine mesh to resolve the electrical double layer but if you do very fine meshing in your entire geometry then your total number of meshes will increase like anything and it may go beyond the computational capability of your computer so you need to divide your zones into several sizes so Today's topic is that only. So initially we right click on mesh and let's say we choose free triangular mesh. Now in free triangular mesh what we can do is we can have three different sizes. So what I do is I see right click on free triangular and I select three sizes and now in size one initially it will be by default entire geometry but we have to change it to domain and let's say this is the domain one and for size two say again you have to change it to domain say this one is the size two and again size three you have to choose the outer domain now if we go to size one you can customize our size so it's a general physics option so I what I need is I need a kind of coarse mesh here so what I do is I choose the option say coarse and I build selected so initially it will be like this but it will change once we put some values to size 2 and size 3 so in size 3 initially we need a kind of finer mesh not extra fine so you see this domain has become finer now the size 2 where I need extremely fine what I can do is I can play around with these options and my experience is if we choose the option semiconductor and a fine mesh then this part will be extremely fine so if I click on build all object you can see now this inner part has become finely meshed you can even make it finer if you choose the options say extra fine or extremely fine then you see it will take some time because it is having many number of meshes in this annular zone and it may be beyond of my computer's capability in that case it will take some time so let me pause the video and come back once the meshing is done yeah extremely fine is taking too long time so let us work with extra fine 
it should not take much of time it's still taking because it is forming many many meshes yeah it's almost done once it is done we can see the quality of mesh it forms at the middle so let us wait for a while again yeah this is done now you can see this is very fine so it may need my purpose and it may meet my purpose so this is how you can actually distribute your meshes and you can play you can actually solve your actual problem so this is a necessity for many situations and that's why you should learn about this now i this is about size distribution and now uh, another thing is i have already told you about this if you right click and click the option plot so yeah you see this is a very nice plot because if it is green then it's a nice plot if it becomes reddish then means you have a some you have some problem and you have to change your mesh so it's a kind of trial and error method once you work with this you will learn about it now what i do i delete this and i'll show you about different types now again i right click say initially i take free triangular and I click on domain say I want this one to be free triangular so I click here you can also change the size if you want say if I right click and make the option size I can make it finer yeah this is possible now I right click again and I click on save not free triangular let me choose quad mesh because there is another option of free quad let me just uh, change it to domain and choose this domain and i click on build so you can see this is your kind of quad mesh again you can right click and change the size so i change it to extra fine for say now you see it has become extra fine now you can the left one the middle portion you can have say boundary layers so if i choose this one and click on build all so i have chosen boundary layer here so boundary layer has come from the option i mean from fluid mechanics so this is useful if you are working with boundary layer flows so here also you can play around and you can change the things like here it is boundary layer properties so you can see you can change it to say it is 8 by default i can change it to double say uh, boundary layer scaling factor you should reduce it and let's see what happens I clicked on build all yeah no such change because of this very small dimension so but our purpose was to show you that you can actually have different types of meshes at different zones might be about the distribution of different kinds we'll cover in the next video otherwise it will become too long so yeah today i stop here before i end the video i would like to tell you that we are uploading few more videos on engineering mathematics also on comsol multivisic several other topics so kindly subscribe to our channel so that we get motivation for uploading more videos thank you